Oh, well, you see that? Yeah, yo, don't see that right there. No, don't see that. No. No. Uh, uh. And the, and the nearest thing that room a 209 will support would be empty. <laughs> Hi. How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. Today we're looking at some really creepy footage. From the last known sightings crazy. of people that mysteriously real disappeared crazy. to inexplicable road accidents and ghost sightings. Join us as we count 11 mysterious videos that can't be explained. On the 30th of June 2014, 28-year-old Lars Matank and a group of friends went on a holiday to the seaside resort of Golden Sands in Bulgaria. During his stay, Matank got into a fight with a group of rival football fans and suffered a ruptured eardrum. Is it right to get in a fight? I don't know. I don't know why. I'm, I'm getting hot. Um, he was then advised by a local doctor not to fly until his ear had fully healed and was unable to return home with his friends. Alone, Matang checked into a cheap hotel in the area. After just one night, he began to act- Hold up, hold up. Just then. Hold up, hold up, y'all. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. I'm sure you check, but every time it comes to like mystery or ghost adventure, it covers in no one. You get the idea. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. very strangely. He sent a text message to his mother telling her that he didn't feel safe and that she should cancel his credit card. He also told her that he was hiding from four men who were following him. Apparently fearing for his safety, Matank then headed to Varna Airport where the security camera captured him entering. Uh -huh. A few minutes later, Mitang can be wait, seen wait, wait, running wait, from wait, the wait, airport. Wait, 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 wait. I'm confused. Why are you running? I'm gonna feel like... Wait, it gotta be some reason why you're running. It's... I'm confused. What? Let, 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 let's into figure the parking it out. Lot. He was then seen climbing a fence and running through a meadow and into the nearby woods. Matank was never seen again, and it was never discovered who or what he was running from at Varna Airport. To this day, Matank's disappearance what? remains a mystery. Hold up a minute! It this footage make began no surfacing sense. around the middle of 2016. It shows a woman quick. browsing no items in a shopping mall. When an item mysteriously falls behind her, she turns and replaces it on the shelf. Not bad, this one not bad, not bad. Ain't bad yet. Number one. As soon as she replaces, replaces the item, the she, item begins she begins to act, to act very, very strangely, strangely. Almost, almost as though as an like unseen force, force takes control of her body. She she gotta be possessed. Like check. She has to be possessed. Like in no way that she gonna end up going like like she gotta be possessed. If y'all don't, don't see it, like, I really zoom in and show y'all what's going on. She drops her shopping and begins to writhe uncontrollably. After falling to the yeah, floor, cool. two other shoppers notice the woman. As one comes to her aid, the woman lets out a guttural scream. Bro, bro, bro. By this By time, this the commotion has attracted confused. several other shoppers. She lets out yet down. another scream, this, this one more intense than the first. Aye, oh, no, no, that one was intense. The scream seemed to have the power to push the onlookers back. 
As the man in black attempts to restrain her, the other onlookers gather closer. The woman begins calming down, but then suddenly she lets out one final almighty yell. This time it has the force to move objects in the store as well as cause the security Wait! camera to flicker. Oh, 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 oh. The other customers then help the woman to her feet she and got that super her power away. Scream. She might have that superpower scream. This mysterious footage was recorded in 2003 from the CCTV of an unknown Wait, 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 you telling me this happened before I was born? This is literally the year I was born, and you tell me this happened while I was born? Wow. I come down and tell me, tell me, like, like, will y'all be surprised? To see certain foes at the year, um, year y'all were born? Because that's insane. A member of the hotel staff is sent to investigate screams coming from room 209, which was thought to be empty at the time. As the man approaches the why, door, the screams why, why would you be heard that? over the footage. Why would the room to whatever you say, or room 209 should both be empty? The voice of another member whoa, of staff whoa, whoa, can be wait, heard wait, advising wait, wait. the man to wait before entering the room as the police have uh -huh. been notified and are on their way. However, the man decides to enter the room anyway. Come, bro, 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 bro. Bro, if, if, if I hear something like that, oh, we, oh, oh I'm running. Even, even, even if another black person, they run too. Like, bro, we're not going to go and check out the crime scene. Why would we gotta go and check out the crime scene? I'm not going there to check out no crime scene. Shortly after he enters, some sort of ghostly figure can be seen escaping down the hallway hey, as the hotel lights you? begin to flicker. No! Uh 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 uh. No, bro, 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 bro. Bro, you see that? Yeah, hey, yo, don't see that right there. Yo, don't see that. No. No. Uh, uh. And the, and the nearest thing, the room, the 209 was supposed to be empty. When the man exits the room, he appears startled. He says there was no one in the room, however, all the furniture was turned upside down, the carpet was ripped up, and the shower was running. The video abruptly ends without an explanation on what was happening in room 209. Was it a ghost or just a prank? If it was a prank, then how do you explain the ghostly figure seen leaving yeah. the room? If it were a prank, how you how you expect a figure to run out the room like that? On the 14th of October 2009, two witnesses claim to have seen a large triangular shaped object hovering above a hotel they were staying in at the time. The pair reported the strange occurrence to the authorities and a short time later two mysterious men dressed in black suits visited the hotel looking for the witnesses. This footage from the lobby security camera of the hotel shows the men walking into the building. The men asked to speak to the guests that had witnessed the event but were told by staff that they were no longer there. The staff members that spoke to the men said that they were very pale and had no eyebrows or eyelashes and that they looked completely identical. One female staff member even said that they looked as though both men's hair was fake as if they were wearing wigs to cover the fact that they were bald. The staff member also claimed that both men had very large deep blue eyes and that the entire time they spoke they never blinked once. If you look closely at the footage of the two men entering the hotel, you can see the man on the left appears to be having trouble keeping his feet straight as he walks. Did the guests witness some kind of alien spacecraft above their hotel? And were these the mysterious men in black that have been reported to appear after many UFO sightings? If so, were they top level government agents sent to assess the case, or could they have been aliens looking to erase any knowledge of their existence?
not publicly. On that the 31st of January 2013, 21-year-old Eliza Lamb disappeared while staying at the Cecil Hotel in downtown LA. Lamb, a student at the University of British Columbia in Vancouver, was travelling at the time of her disappearance and the alarm was raised after she failed to contact her parents the day she was scheduled to check out of the hotel. When the police failed to locate Lamb, they decided to release the video footage of an elevator security camera in the hotel in an effort to collect more information. In the footage, Lamb can be seen moving very strangely as if she's hiding from someone or something. She can be seen entering the elevator calmly before pressing several of the buttons on the panel. She then stands back and seems to wait for the doors to close. Suddenly, she lunges forward and looks down the hallway before standing up against the wall. She then exits the elevator before returning, pressing more buttons on the panel. She exits the elevator one final time and can be seen communicating with something before wandering off down the hallway. Who is she talking to? Who are you talking to? When the footage was released publicly, it went viral. In the first 10 days, it received more than 3 million views and 40,000 comments on the Chinese Damn. video sharing, sharing site, site Yuko. Yuko. Many of the Many viewers, of the viewers said, said they found the footage I didn't to get that much Shortly after her disappearance, disappearance, hotel guests began complaining of black, black strange-tasting strange water and low water, water pressure. Ew. When the maintenance staff went to investigate, they discovered the body of Eliza Lamb floating inside one of the water tanks. What the fuck? Despite a thorough police investigation, several inconsistencies of Lamb's disappearance has never been answered. The autopsy report deemed her death to be accidental. However, the police noted that the oh, eight foot high really. tanks, which were located on the roof of the hotel, were only accessible with a key and almost impossible to enter without a ladder. Many theories have attempted to explain Lamb's disappearance, from murder to the supernatural. Yeah, that, that is actually really confused. Because if, if, if the accepted tank, right, where all water come out, right, they're on the roof. Then how she get in the seventeen without the key and without a ladder? That is crazy. Natural. Her death has even been noted for its eerie similarities to the 2005 horror film Dark Water. In wow! The film, her mother and daughter move into a rundown apartment building with a dysfunctional elevator. Discolored water eventually leads them to the water tank on the roof, where they discover the body of a girl who's been reported missing a year earlier. To this day, the fate of Eliza Lamb remains a mystery. This mysterious video was taken on a road in Qingtai, China. As the two white vans approach the intersection, something very strange happens. Suddenly, the two vans lift into the air and get pushed backwards, almost as though a very strong gust of wind picks them up and shakes them out. What could have happened to these vans? What sort of strange force has the power to lift two vans into the air with such ease? This footage was taken from a footage, footage, footage. cam somewhere in Russia. As the traffic is driving along, the semi-trailer suddenly begins to swerve, nearly colliding with oncoming traffic. At first, it's difficult to see why the truck swerves, but then the answer becomes apparent. A man wearing what looks to be a lab coat seems to appear out of nowhere. Several theories have attempted to explain this bizarre event. It's been suggested that the man could be a scientist from the future, who miscalculated a time travel tele- Hey, y'all, can you see that? This truck right here, driving, and this- and you mysterious dudes just walk across the road, like, bro, you gotta be a, a time machine, 
It had to be a time machine. Maybe, maybe he from the future that was trying to take over, over and somebody stop him. Quotation. If you look closely, however, you can actually see the man crossing the road in front of the truck. What is difficult to explain, however, is the relaxed and almost robotic reaction the man has after his near fatal miss. He simply turns, puts his hands in his lab coat pockets and calmly walks off down the road. Why was this man attempting to cross the road in the first place? There seems yeah. to be nothing but empty fields on the other side. Uh, what do you why, think why is you, happening you in this video? We'd love to get why your you opinion and let us know in the road. comment section below. Anyway, like that. This mysterious video was posted in 2014 by a man known right. only as Ted, who claims to have been a police officer since 1983. Mm -hmm. After responding to a domestic disturbance in Delray, Detroit, Ted says he heard some strange noises coming from a neighbouring house, so he decided to take a closer look. As he approaches the house, which appears to be burnt out and abandoned, the officer uh -huh. pans the camera towards an old newspaper clipping before calling out to see if anyone's inside. Oh. <laughs> Suddenly, a ghoulish face appears in the upstairs window before disappearing into the dark. Wait, wait, wait! <laughs> no! No! No, if, if I saw that, I'm running. Like, if I saw this in a band house, like, band house that the light burnt down and everything, or oh, I'm running. I'm running, I don't care. I'm running, so I'm, I'm, waiting. I'm going back home. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Suddenly, thing. a ghoulish face appears in the upstairs window before disappearing into the darkness. It's later revealed in the video that the article that the police officer found was about a woman named Rose Varez, who was known as the Witch of Del Rey. Varez was thought to have murdered up to 12 men in the 1930s, however her neighbours were too scared to testify against her because they believed she had supernatural powers that could make their children sick. Could the ghostly face that the police officer saw in the window of this burnt out old house be that of the infamous Del Rey Witch? In 2015, a CCTV camera in a Taiwanese alleyway captured this unnerving and creepy footage. As the heavy rain pours down, a man can be seen walking down the alleyway towards his parked motorbike. Just as the man reaches his bike, a young girl in a red dress mysteriously appears alongside the parked van at the opposite end of the alleyway. As the footage continues, a motorbike can be seen riding past in the background. If you take a closer look as the bike passes, however, you can see the wheels of the bike through the little girl's head. What makes this video even creepier is the fact that in Taiwan, there's an urban legend known as the Girl in Red, a ghost of a young girl dressed in a red dress that stalks and haunts her victims. How in the fucking way it can be a way to actual... This video was filmed in a hospital in Guadalajara, Mexico. It shows an orderly laughing and joking around for the camera when suddenly a mysterious dark figure walks by the window. Bro, you can't see that? Can't see that? As the person holding the camera rushes to investigate, the two open the door and head into what appears to be an operating theater. Suddenly, a table begins to move for no apparent reason. The startled pair quickly leave the room and as they do, the camera holder does a full 360 degree sweep of the room. There's no one else in the room and no other door that the mysterious figure could have entered or exited from. No, no, mm -mm. Mm -mm. no, 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 hell no, no, no. Could it have been the ghost of someone that passed away in this it, it had to operating room? It had to have been the person who passed away a long time ago. In 2015, a floating city appeared in the clouds above Foshan in the Guangdong province of China. It was witnessed by thousands of people and footage of the mysterious city in the clouds even made the Chinese news. Many theories tried to explain the strange city in the sky. 
Some said it was part of a top-secret NASA-funded project known as Project Bluebeam, technology that can reportedly project large-scale holograms into the clouds. Others speculated that it could have been a doorway to an alternate reality that opened for just long enough to allow stunned onlookers to get a glimpse of another world. It wasn't the first time a city in the clouds has been spotted either. In 2011, this footage was taken in Huangshan City hey, in China's is, Anhui this province. Too bad. Like, yeah, what do you think these mysterious cities yeah, could be? Bad. Are they an optical illusion, government testing, or a gateway to another world? Let us know in the if, comment if section it, below. If it was a gateway to no world, bro, I don't know if if I would be happy or sorry. But one thing I would do, if it was a gateway to no world, I'm going to that other world. <laughs>